Yeah, I think we're getting there. Uh, all of us are obviously bitterly disappointed that we didn't win the gold, but you know we we battled really hard all week and we felt like we were on a really good form, and you know we can be proud of that. And uh, Nicholas and his team played amazing in the final, so uh, we'll be proud of these silver medals, I'm sure. Now, Nicholas, this is Nicholas Eden, isn't it? This is the the skip of Sweden, and and this guy, I mean, he's just an animal, isn't he? When it comes to the world of curling, I know he's in the army and he's won every other medal. Um, are you glad that now he's out of the way and maybe the next Olympics, because you can keep going for a long time, he's been around for a long time, so then maybe the next one you can play and he won't be there? <laughs> yeah, we don't actually know if he's uh, leaving or not, but you know he's won nearly everything in the, the sport of curling, so uh, for us to hopefully have a chance in four years' time, we'll, we'll definitely go back and we'll try and win that gold. I just want to ask uh, Bobby or Grant or Hammy or Ross um, this question. I see you're at the Langham Hotel and they've set up a sort of makeshift curling uh, venue there in the centre of London. I wonder if you are hopeful that, you know, your success at the Olympics will be inspiring other people who might be interested in taking up the sport. Uh, Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Hopefully, hopefully, you know, we can inspire a nation, you know, we're fortunate enough that Scotland's got over 20 rinks, uh, and you know, we're kind of gutted that you know, England and Wales don't have as many as that. I think maybe only three in England. So, you know, but hopefully, you know, what the job we've done out there, and we've seen how we've kind of gripped the UK. So, hopefully, you know, just by us being out there and bringing back a silver, and the girls bringing back a gold. Hopefully, you know, we can inspire like the next generation.